My father was colorful and theatrical. And was he? And his accent was in, interesting because um, it was South African. But then it got bothered by living in Australian English and so the, and, and, and sort of an English twang to his characters, that, which um, people sort of like to listen to. It's last tone. Very relaxed in the way he spoke, so my father also loved an audience, so he would perform. He didn't love to float uh, if he we would have been sort of around. He get into extra performance mode. It's quite, quite the colourful and charming type. Also, being the child that he always was, it was like having the last child around. And um, can you remember any specific stories that he told to, to bring to life his subject? You know, can you can, can you remember any of his sort of words or stories? If you if you had to play act him, how how would you do it? Um, his French history was um. He jumped around me and pick up things and jump in act and, um, and exclaim with moments. It was a lot of gesticulating. <coughs> and the voice would boom and then go back. A lot of it, literally, it was like going to a play. And maybe an actor who could have been his vocation if he so desired. And it just in life, he, he would like to give, tell stories in cut, which you would have heard thousands of the times my father was repetitive rather than inventive. So the t things were generally consistently the same, and I knew the detail. It would start a story that I would finish, not that I could pick any up from every corner.